guys, my name's Sage and welcome to my channel. I just thought I'd do a little like chit chat, get ready with me this morning. This is my everyday makeup look if I have work or I'm going out to see friends. I sort of alternate between this and like a red smoky eye because I think reds, oranges and those sort of really warm tones really suit green eyes. So. Yeah, I just thought I'd film it so you guys can get to know me a bit better, do a more like personal video than just popping in and out of vlogs every now and again. Um, got glasses, so I film without glasses and it's always so like scary putting my glasses on and seeing what I actually look like after. Um, and seeing as my eyesight is deteriorating pretty badly, I think I actually did a good job today, so... <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed and yeah, if you want to see how I created this look, then keep on watching. So I'm just going to start off with moisturising my face. So I used the Celestial Moisturiser from Lush. I love this stuff. I will recommend using Lush to everyone. I use it for all of my skincare, my hair care, my body care <laughs> it's just the best I love it and then next I use the nude by nature airbrush mineral primer and again I love this stuff it makes the powder gone so nice I absolutely love it Um, if I'm looking down a bit, it's just because my mirror is down here. Cool. Now for concealer, I use the Kat Von D concealer in the lighter shade. And I just do a little swipe under my eyes. Everything I use is in the lighter shade because I am so pale. <laughs> and then I use the... Lasting Perfection Collection 2000 uh, Concealer, again in a lighter shade. Um, I heard about this from these YouTubers that I love, their names Sophia and Chinsia. And um, my husband and I, we went to Europe for our honeymoon. And I saw these in the boots and I literally picked up so many because I just heard such amazing things about them. I was like, I need to take some of these home with me. Once that's all blended in, I just go in with this. It's the e.l.f. Tone Correcting Powder. Um, I would normally use the Kat Von D one, but I have run out. But um, this actually works quite well, like for a $3 powder. Next I use the Nude by Nature Mineral Foundation. Um, I love this stuff. I used to use um, a BB cream and then I use like a full coverage one in the winter but I always just end up going back to this stuff. It's amazing and again it's in a lighter shade because I'm so white. So even though I am so pale, I do use bronzer still and my friend actually got me this for my birthday and I love it so much. It's the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil in Medium Deep and I'm just going to go in with um, an Eco Tools like big fluffy brush. I'm just going to carve out a bit of cheekbone just to make my face look a little less chubby and baby faced. So I'm sorry if anything's like shifted slightly. Of course my camera died while I was bronzing up my face. Um, but next I go in with blush and this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 24 hour stay. Ugh. 
blush in exposed and again this was like a youtube like cult product that i'd heard so much about and all of these youtubers that i love and watch had it so i had to pick it up and i've had this i realized i've had this for over a year now and it still has like the embossed print on it like i use this every single day i use this when i do makeup on other people and my god you get your money's worth it lasts for ages and it's just a beautiful natural like mauvey pink sorry about that and then i'm just going to love it on so next for a highlighter i recently rediscovered this my sister bought me this like little benefit uh gift set a few years ago and I was using it for ages like I loved it and then it just got lost in my collection and I've been really like into shopping my own stuff lately and yeah I just rediscovered it and I am obsessed and I'm definitely going to be repurchasing it when it runs out but I've just been putting it on as like a base and then my little sponge And I've actually found it's the only highlighter that works really well on my nose. My powder highlights sort of like break up a bit and make my like blackheads really noticeable. But this one works really well. So I'm just going to pop a bit on my nose as well. And then over the top, again, one of my good friends bought me this when I was going through a bit of a hard time. And I'm just obsessed. It's the, as you can tell, it is extremely well loved. It's the Becca Highlighter in Moonstone. And again, I use this every time I do people's makeup. I pop this on no matter like their skin tone. It just is so beautiful and I use it every single day. going to blend everything in. So moving on to eyes, I'm just going to pop down a bit of um, shadow insurance. Now I'm just using this Nude by Nature a highlighter stick in champagne it is like a highlighter for your face but I love using it as a base for my eyeshadow it looks so beautiful so then I'm going in with <laughs> as you can tell my trusty old favorite the Anastasia modern renaissance palette I love this so much I took it traveling around Europe. I wore it on my wedding day. I just love it so much. It's like my holy grail. And as you can tell, I've hit pan on so many already, but when I run out, I'll definitely be repurchasing it. Repurchasing it. So just as a base, I'm gonna be using the uh, tempera color, what's left of it anyway, and just putting that all over my lid and up to my brow bone. And then I'm going to take my Mary Lou highlighter and I use this as um, an eyebrow highlight. I love an intense highlight and this stuff looks amazing. So, okay. Then I'm just going to be taking um, Raw Sienna and I'm just going to be putting that in my crease and just a it a bit. And then I'm just taking some under my eye. And then I'm going to be taking the brush that came with it. I love this brush. And taking burnt orange, which as you can tell is a favourite because I've hit pen on it. And just putting that in the crease and then blending it down onto my eyelid.
and then I'm taking Frilga, Frilga on the other end of the brush, on the flat packing brush. I'm just going to put that in my inner cor uh, outer corners, sorry. That's the eye that's done for now. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows. I use a combination, I think they've discontinued this, which is a bit sad, but it's the um, Australis Tint My Brow Brow Tint. I only use a gel because I have quite, it's taken me so many years to grow my eyebrows this like thick. Um, so I just use a gel when I do my brows. But I use a combination of this, it's quite a light brown, and then I put the Essence Make Me Brow in, they only have two colours, blonde or brown, so in the brown shade, over the top, and it just gives a heap of dimension. So next I'm just going to pop a bit of the Essence, it's just the black eye coal in my tight line. And then I'm just going to curl my eyelashes, it's just a Sephora eyelash curler, I got it in Santorini when we got married. And then it's just lashes and lashes of mascara. Alrighty, and then my trick if I make a mess with my mascara is I just take like a little highlighter brush, I think they're called, and I take um, Cypress Umber, which is the darker colour, and I just smudge a bit on my upper lash line to sort of cover the mess I've made with all the mascara. And I forgot the finishing touch, so I'll be right back. Alrighty, so now for the finishing touches, I use the Mario Badescu, the uh, Aloe Herbs and Rosewater one. Uh, my friends and I went into Mecca and we literally all left with this because everybody raves about it and I highly recommend now as well. I spray it on after I tone my face before I moisturize in the morning. I spray it on after I turn my face at night before bed and then if I just want a nice light setting spray and for my skin to look a bit more dewy, I spray it on as well. So I'm just going to douse myself. I'm just going to pop the, it's the Too Faced Sweet Peach, the lip gloss lip oil one on. finished look so but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed I'm sorry if the lighting's weird or anything's weird this I can't actually see myself I don't have like a flip up screen or anything so I'm just praying <laughs> that I'm in focus that you can see me okay um, if you have any feedback let me know down below um, but yeah I've got a couple more vlogs coming which is a bit exciting and if there's any other sort of videos you want me to do like chatty ones let me know but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in my next one bye guys